Wireless communication is inherently anonymous. There is no way of knowing who transmitted a signal if they do not identify. And there is no way of knowing where that signal is transmitted from unless you actively track it down. This is a radio direction finding device that uses an array of antennas and synchronized receivers to track down the position of a given radio transmission and lead you directly to its physical location. This is Kraken SDR. This video is made possible by Lab 401. They are a web store based in Europe specializing in pen testing equipment and also carrying Kraken SDR. And they've sent me this one to have a look at. Later, I'll show you how I've used this to track down a radio transmitter. But first, let me briefly cover why it works. If we imagine a radio signal is like making a sound, then a radio receiver is like capturing it with a single microphone. From this recording alone, we cannot tell what direction the sound is coming from. We can only tell if it's loud or quiet, which can maybe give us an indication of whether it's close by or far away. One way of finding the direction of a signal is by using a directional antenna. This would be like putting a cone over the microphone, amplifying the reception in one direction and attenuating it in other directions. By turning it around, we can now listen for in what direction the signal is the strongest. A directional antenna is never perfect though. It will still receive from all directions, just more so in one direction. If we do this from multiple physical locations, we can start making some lines on a map that will eventually cross on a single point where the transmitter is located. This is known as triangulation, since we need to know the direction from three or more locations to calculate the location of the transmitted signal. This is actually also a hobby known as fox hunting, where a radio transmitter is hidden in a secret location and teams of hunters have to find it. Look up your local amateur radio club if you want to try it for yourself. Another way of finding the direction of a signal is by using multiple receivers. This would be like having two or more microphones by listening for the difference in time between receiving the sound from these multiple positions, we can figure out what direction it comes from. Just like our brain uses the difference in time from when a sound arrives at each of our ears to calculate what direction it came from. Kraken SDR uses five regular omnidirectional magnet antennas that we place on top of a car roof at equal distance from each other. The five antennas connect to five individual SDR receivers inside the Kraken SDR. By measuring the minute differences in when the radio signal arrives at each of the antennas, we can calculate what direction the signal came from. And by taking direction measurements at different locations, we can eventually triangulate the position of the transmitter. A radio signal travels at the speed of light, about 300,000 kilometers per second because radio and light, well, it's the exact same thing, electromagnetic radiation. Light just works at a much, much higher frequency than the wireless signals in our everyday life. Because radio signals travel at the fastest possible known speed in our universe, the difference in time between these relatively close antennas is absolutely tiny. Kraken SDR is actually made from five regular, low-cost RTL SDR receivers, but the receivers inside are synchronized to the same clock source, so that these minute time measurements become possible without frequency drift between receivers causing issues. Kraken SDR makes the otherwise cumbersome direction finding fast, easy and automatic. Let's first go through how to set up the antennas correctly. The antennas need to be set up differently, depending on what frequency the signal you want to track down is transmitted on. For this demonstration, I will be trying to locate a local FM broadcast tower that transmits on the frequency 104.2 MHz. To set up the antennas, I highly recommend 
that you use this 3D printable spacer template. It consists of a central hub piece that can be held onto the car roof with magnets and a separate alignment tool that fits into the hub in all the directions. Each of the SMA connections on the Kraken SDR, as well as each of the antenna coax cables included in the kit, are labeled with numbers from 0 to 4. The antennas need to be aligned on the car so that antenna 0 is pointing forward, and the rest of the antennas are then placed following the numbers in a clockwise direction. I've written the numbers and direction on the hub piece to make it a bit less confusing. Depending on the frequency of the signal you're trying to locate, the antennas need to be placed closer or farther apart. The alignment tool has the maximum frequency labeled next to each position. The higher the frequency, the closer to the hub the antennas need to be, since we are trying to locate a signal at 104.2 MHz. I will be using the position farthest away from the central hub. The alignment tool can also be used to measure what length the telescopic antennas need to be extended to by holding it next to the antenna and using the numbers on the side. The lower the frequency, the longer the antennas need to be. For the frequency I'm trying to locate, I will be extending the antennas fully. I've also written the distance from the hub to each point on the alignment tool in centimeters. We need this number later when configuring the direction finding software. Now that you understand how to set up the antennas, we will take a look at how the rest of the hardware connects. The Kraken SDR is a substantial piece of aluminium with five SMA connectors on one side for the antenna connections and two USB-C connectors on the other, one for data and one for power. By itself, this is just a bunch of SCR receivers though. You can use them as regular receivers, but they won't do any direction finding without the appropriate software and some hardware to run it on. The easiest way to run this setup on the go is to use a Raspberry Pi 4 or faster and an Android phone capable of working as a mobile hotspot. On the Kraken RF GitHub, you can find the Kraken SDR direction of arrival software and they even have pre-made images for Raspberry Pi available. I've also mounted a fan to and overclocked my Raspberry Pi 4 to 2000 MHz as they recommend for the best performance. I've used some double-sided tape to stick the Raspberry Pi to the Kraken SDR. You could also run the software in a virtual machine on a laptop. The Kraken SDR Android Companion app can be found in the Google Play Store. To make everything work together, simply create a mobile hotspot named Kraken Android with Kraken Android set as the password as well. And then connect the Raspberry Pi to the Kraken SDR data connection and connect power to Kraken SDR and the Raspberry Pi. I'm using a power bank, but make sure whatever power source you use can supply enough amps. By default, the Raspberry Pi image is set up to connect automatically to this mobile hotspot, and it should show up in the list of clients on the phone. Note the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, and then open the Kraken SDR app, tap the menu icon, go to settings, and put in the IP address into the server address option up top. Now go back, tap the menu icon again, and tap the Kraken SDR server settings option. This will load a configuration web page hosted by the software on the Raspberry Pi, and seeing this page confirms that everything is connected. Everything is now ready to start tracking down radio signals. So let's dive into how to configure and use this setup. In the Android app, tap the menu icon and select the Kraken STR server settings option. This will open the configuration web page hosted by the software on the Raspberry Pi. If you prefer, you could also connect a laptop to the mobile hotspot and access this configuration from a web browser. First, we need to set the frequency of the signal we want to locate. And this is done in the RF receiver configuration panel in the sensor frequency field. Input the frequency and click update receiver parameters. And then click the spectrum tab up top to go to the live spectrum, displaying the received signal to see if it receives correctly. You can adjust the receiver gain setting to get the best signal strength while still avoiding distortion. Go back to the configuration page and scroll down to DOA configuration. Make sure that array configuration is set to UCA. This means that we are using a circular antenna array setup. 
and set array radius to the measurement we took from the alignment tool when placing the antennas. In this case it's 0.33 meters. Below you will see the calculated wavelength multiplier. This should always be below 0.5 and ideally above 0.2 and as close to 0.5 as possible. This is affected by how large your antenna array radius is for the specific frequency, so adjust it accordingly. You don't need to change the rest of the settings. Just take a look at the DAQ subsystem status and make sure that everything is green. Go back to the Android app. We now need to create a log file where the data we collect will be saved by pressing the save icon up top and naming the file. Now you can start the direction finding in the app by pressing the diagonal arrow icon second from the bottom. Nothing will happen at first because you are not moving. As soon as you begin driving around, things will start happening on the screen. The red line indicates the direction you are driving in, and the lobe indicates the currently measured direction of the radio signal. It moves around as you pick up not only the signal, but also reflections coming off buildings. The map will slowly be colored in to indicate the believed position of the radio transmitter. A very useful feature in the Kraken SDR Android app is the ability to give you turn-by-turn -turn directions. At first it will navigate to a point 0.5 kilometers away, but eventually, as enough measurement points have been found, it will navigate you directly to the source location of the transmitter you're tracking. In this test scenario, I was first let down a random street by the navigation and drove around for a few minutes before it eventually turned me around and led me directly to this local FM broadcast tower, which is the source of the signal. This demonstration was done on a signal that broadcasts continuously, which is quite easy to locate. But you can also locate signals that only broadcast occasionally by using the squelch setting and enabling an audio tone in the app that beeps whenever the signal is active. Then you just need to drive around and make sure that you get enough good readings from various locations. Since Kraken SDR is using RTL SDR receivers, the frequency range is about 24 MHz to 1.8 GHz. But the included magnet antennas and the practical distance of the antenna array setup on a car roof works best at frequencies of about 200 MHz and above. Even though it still worked fairly well to find the signal in this demonstration, which was all the way down at 104.2 MHz, so there is some leeway. You could use different antennas and even different antenna coax cables, but be aware that the antennas and coax cable used need to be identical to each other to avoid phase distortion. I highly recommend reading the Kraken RF GitHub wiki, as it not only clearly describes how to set everything up and what all the configuration settings do, but it also has a bunch of interesting alternative use cases and detailed documentation on the radio theory of how it works. Thanks to Lab for one for making this video possible. Go check out their web store if you're looking for a Kraken SDR or other pen testing equipment. I hope I've given you a small insight into what the Kraken SDR is all about.